Hey everybody. Um, so in this project uh, we're here in Photoshop and we want to play with the symmetry tool uh, as one of the options for the brush tool. <clears throat> um, and what happens is it draws out a, um, uh, a series of lines that when you draw with the brush tool it creates a 10-way mirror image and um, we can use this to create some interesting designs. Um, um, a mandala shape comes to mind. Um, so why don't we get started here. So go File New and we'll create a new document a 10 by 10 by 240 inches. Make sure you have it on inches. Um, and make sure color mode is RGB and then you can click create. Great. So just to show you a couple of things, I'm defaulting first to black and white here by clicking this little button foreground and background and click the brush tool right here. The shortcut to that is just the letter B on your keyboard. And in the options up here there are lots of different options. Opacity, does that mean it's going to be fully opaque or is it going to be transparent or, or lighter color? Um, the size is really important so we can dial this up bigger size, smaller size. Um, hardness, 100% hard means that it's got a nice hard edge and if this is all the way down to zero it's more like a um, airbrush. Okay, so we're going to use it at the hard setting. Um, over here, smoothing is quite important. Uh, I have it set up to 100% right now. So if you put this at zero, and let me grab a hard brush again, small one. And notice as I kind of draw lines, it's quite choppy. It's, it's hard to come up with a, that's not terrible, but it's still pretty bad at the end. It's hard to come up with a beautiful line um, just with the tool alone. And that's true for both the brush and the pencil tool. Pencil tool is another, uh, that smoothing is set up to 100% with that one. So I'm going to take the brush and take it back up. And notice as I draw that it follows along here. Okay, so it's a good idea to practice making some marks, practice changing the color. You click on the foreground color and bring this circle all the way up to the upper right if you want the maximum hue. And over in this slider, we can change uh, what the hue is as we go around the color wheel. Okay. Um, so here's that blue. Kind of get used to the way it feels because you see the the line is following me and it kind of slows it down. It's a, it's a new feel to get used to. Okay. So I'm going to hit Control A to select all and then the delete key and erase everything. It's asking um, to fill it with it may say foreground color and if I said foreground color and OK it's going to fill it with that blue that's in the foreground. So I'm going to hit delete again and choose white. Right there. OK and since this is a new document I'm going to add the plus button next to the trash can to give it its own layer. And finally over here uh, it looks like a little butterfly I'm clicking on that and choosing Mandela. And I'm putting this segment count all the way up to 10 and saying OK. And holding, grabbing these corners and moving them out. Try to make it even. I guess I'll leave it on blue for now and check mark that to set the size. 
if I just sort of randomly, I'm going to start out at this point at the top and I'm going to kind of just sort of randomly scroll my way to the center and stop. And ended up with that. And if I change the color at this point and change the brush size and add a few dots in like that. I could make small dots if I wanted. Whatever I do, it's going to put it 10 times around here, right? So I can also draw with a small brush. I'm thinking about locus points where things come together where I want to end something like that. <clears throat> the background, because we have it on a separate layer, now I could create a gradient. Um, right now I have a red gradient and I have it set from light red to dark red. Um, there's a drop down here and you could use the regular gradient palettes and all these different colors. Um, basics, blues, etc., iridescence. And the other option is the second button in is a radial gradient. And what this means is I'm going to start dragging in the center and it's going to be a light red. And I'm going to stop at a corner. So it's from the center to a corner on the background. And let's see what's happening here. This is a new tool in Photoshop. 2023 and I can I can change the glow rate here depending on how how big I want this it just gives us a lot more control than we used to have so that's pretty much it um, save this as a JPEG put six to ten of these in your Google Drive put one or two on the blog um, Try different colors, different brush sizes, different um, ways of using the tool. Try it some simple ones, some dense ones, um, and mostly have fun with it. And see you on the blog.